Hey guys, welcome to another video here with Twin City Reefs and more. My name is Dennis. For those that don't know me, I moved from Texas. I'm here in North Carolina. You want to hear the backstory? Go to the beginning of the videos. I don't know. I just some sometimes I feel like maybe the people that already subscribe and keep watching are probably up tired of hearing that story already um, but anyways today is another unboxing though guys I mentioned on one of my previous videos that I have been having issues with pH I decided to purchase a co2 scrubber my first option was really going to be uh, running in line from the skimmer to the outside but I just don't know how I feel about making a hole in, uh, on the floor on the wall so I figured you know what let me try a co2 scrubber people tell me that there's a lot of benefits with it but the major con to this is that you will go through media pretty fast and that's the part that I want to experience how fast are they talking about is it once a month is it once every two months is it once every two weeks I would say that if, if this would at least last maybe anywhere between one and two months I'd be happy with that if it lasts any less than a month then I definitely have a problem so I purchased the ice cap co2 scrubber this is the large version the 4.4 pound one so, you know, it's, it's a large one. There's media in here too, and I wasn't aware of that. I actually purchased media in addition to this CO2 scrubber. But as you can see here, it looks like they already provide this media that is actually open. Not sure if that's still good to go or not. We'll, we'll find out. So this is an open box item. That's why I'm not making a big deal of this uh, media. I don't know that. It, from bulk resupply open box they have they graded it as an a meaning that everything should be good or great i'm not sure i'm gonna have to go look at definition so that i can then uh see what i'm gonna do about this open media i don't know if it's usable or not uh it doesn't it still looks one color so it doesn't appear to uh be exhausted i know that there's some co2 media this is color changing media oh yeah most definitely this has been used already you can see how dirty it is inside. It's pretty straightforward, guys. You know, you connect one hose here, the hose to the to the skimmer goes to this device, to this side over here, and then it pulls air from right here. And see uh, see how this works. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. This is really a short video, but as you can see here, it is pretty straightforward. It is a pretty big container that holds a lot of media. I was actually debating whether I should uh, buy the BRS style, which looks just like one of those RODI canisters. And for $35 versus this at the original price is over $100. Uh, what I paid for open box was about a hundred bucks exactly. So I saved about 30 bucks from open box. Was it worth it? Um, I don't have a problem with it being dirty, to be honest. I'm not sure if uh, it's, I doubt that it's going to impact the performance, right? Again, it's a pretty straightforward system. You add the media, you connect your skimmer, and you watch it work. The question I'm asking myself right now is which system should I add it to? I don't have any corals in the 300 gallon, but that's majorly because I've been quarantining them. I do have corals that are done quarantining that are SPS, and it's only really about four pieces that I'm thinking I'm going to add. So I'm gonna connect this today or tomorrow and I'm going to then let it run for a few days, monitor it through my Apex because that's what I have connected to this tank. So I'm not gonna have to test daily. The, the graphs on the Apex system will let me know uh, whether the pH is rising or not. If it is, then I'm going to add the corals, the SPS corals that I have ready for that tank and i'm gonna see how it does because every other parameter honestly is fine in the mega matrix but the ph ph sits anywhere between 7.6 to 7.8 i haven't been able when the windows are down when the windows are closed i haven't been able to get it above 7.8 uh when the when i've opened the windows depending on the day if it's too cold or too hot i won't uh, but depending on the day, I, I've actually had days where I've been able to leave it open for multiple days. And when I'm talking about leaving them open, I don't only open the ones for the fish room. I open the dining room, the kitchen, this area right here behind me. And I leave it open for about two, three days. 
and I only get it to rise up to like 8.0 I think 8 it hasn't gotten to 8.1 8.0 from 7.8 with Windows open is 7.8 to 8.0 Windows close 7.6 to 7.8 that's where I'm thinking that it has to do with co2 we're definitely gonna start with this if I see a difference where it gets to above 8.0 I'm definitely going to then keep it and see long term how much it costs. I know that's one major question that a lot of you ask is what does it cost uh, for the media? How long does it last? Um, what size system can I use it on? I'm not going to be able to answer all those questions, but I'm going to tell you that I'm going to use it on a 310 gallon. I've told you that when my windows are closed, I it's between 7.6 and 7.8. When the windows are open, it's between 7.8 and 8.0. We're going to see if adding this makes a difference. If it takes it above 8.0, then it definitely is a CO2 issue, which I think honestly it already is. And then we're going to see from that, how long does 4.4 pounds of this media last me? Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to answer that question right away because one of these bags is open. I'm going to still try to use it and see whether I see color changing or not on it. We'll go from there, guys. So that's all I have on this product here. I look forward to doing this for y'all and for myself mainly and letting you know if long-term I'm gonna keep it or not. The next option will be a calc washer. The only reason I haven't started trying to use calc washer is because I don't have any corals in there so I feel like the more I drip in there who, what's going to consume it uh, you know I only have uh, anemones and I don't think they uh, consume uh, calcium thank you for watching I know this was a short video I just wanted to show off this product right here and eventually let you know my thoughts on it if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe if you have any questions about this product or anything you'd like me to look into for you for you and answer below you know leave the comments below if you uh, like this video please hit the like button i'd really appreciate it guys see you on the next one